hey guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video so as you guys can tell by the title today i'll be telling you all my first trimester experience in this pregnancy yes so before we get into this video i want you all to like share comment and don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so that whenever your girl posts you'll be notified so let's get into the video so currently i am in my second trimester so this video is way overdue because i keep putting it off and i decided to do it today so what i did was jot down a few things so that in case i forget you know i have everything jotted down let me tell you all something like first trimester was not a joke okay so like for the first you know the first trimester is like three the first three months so for the first first month i didn't really feel any type of way because you know that's when i conceive and stuff like that so i didn't really feel any type of way and i also found out when i was pregnant in the second month so when i found out in the second month of the first trimester that is when i started feeling type of way so before i took the pregnancy test i was feeling like a little just a little bit nausea and i wasn't having no appetite at all and i think um at that point i feel i felt like i wanted to throw up but i didn't so it was a few days after i took the pregnancy test when i actually started vomiting and actually started feeling really bad so in the second month i had a lot of vomiting i had no appetite at all like hunger did that kill me literally let me see when we have jotted down here so i was in bed like like after i found out that's when it started coming down on me so i was like in bed for the entire day every single day and it not get better it just gets worse so as i said i am in my second trimester now so you know me kind of forget about all of that craziness that happened in the first trimester so that's why i have it jotted down here so i was peeing a whole lot i am still peeing a lot right now because i have to be drinking a lot of fluid so in that case you know me i go to the bathroom very often and then the baby um rests on my bladder so each time i go pee i still feel like more and pee after like all that don't come out so i was peeing a lot in my first trimester and i had a crazy crazy morning sickness and let me tell you that is not even morning sickness because i was sick for the entire day i think um i have some clippings not a lot so i'm going to insert it in this video so you guys can see that this wasn't no joke so in the morning when i get up i just um feel like i want to throw up so I'll, I'll i'll make sure that i throw up before i eat anything because if i eat all of that i will come up so normally my routine was to get up go to the bathroom throw up and then i'll try and eat something and as me said me never did have no appetite at all like hungry did that kill me in my first trimester i lost like 10 pounds because my first doctor visit i was over 200 and then after i was um 190 something and i am still at 190 something i still haven't picked up back all of that weight which i don't really mind because i'm not it's not like i am skinny or anything so i really don't mind so i lost like 10 pounds I was sick for the entire day so to me it's not a morning sickness it's an entire day type of sickness yeah morning evening like in the night we get a little ease 
so i'm sick for the entire day and that was like every single day for the for the first trimester so the second month and the third month sick every single day i had a little headache now and then and when i went to the first um doctor's apartment you know the doctor put me on vitamin and stuff so i had to be taking my vitamins still taking them and stuff like that so in the morning so only thing i could actually eat in my first trimester whenever I really like upset me was like a ramen noodle and you know so them say ramen is not good for you so i would eat ramen even though sometimes it upset me but it never really come back up and i'll drink last i'll eat my fruits and stuff like that and i'll make um cereal but everything else sit my stomach when food I cook, oh my god, I don't want to smell it. Not I literally have to cover my nose whenever um, food is preparing or something like that. And I had a little back pain now and then. I had a little breast pain. Guys, telling you all um, my experience right now is nothing compared to the actual experience that I had. That was the worst, like. Oh my god, I don't even want to remember how bad I felt in my first trimester. I actually get a little ease right now since I'm in my second trimester. But pregnancy ain't for the week, as I can tell you. So I was also um, feeling really bloated. So even though I didn't have an appetite, I didn't, I didn't feel that much like I was... I didn't feel hungry. So I wasn't eating, I never have an appetite, and I was bloated, so I never really feel hungry, if you get what I say. And what else? I remember one day when I, I think, I don't remember if I did vomit that morning first. I think I did, because it's the routine to get up, vomit and stuff like that before I eat. And I remember one morning, I was feeling okay up and everything and then i mix i made some tea and um i think i was eating bread with the tea and i was drinking the tea drinking the tea and i was feeling okay you see by the time i drink the last i drank the last um the last amount of the tea me just feels like something i run up back like, we couldn't even reach to the bathroom because it was so, it had it happened so fast. Mess up the entire room. Entire room. I think that happened, like, probably two times where I eat and I just feel it coming up back immediately. But other times, when I want to vomit, I'll get time to run to the bathroom and stuff like that. In my first trimester, I couldn't stand to do nothing, like, I don't know how to explain this type of sickness like my body just feel different i can't explain it I, if i try to stand and do something like i feel like me go faint so i couldn't stand at all i couldn't do nothing it's just like when me feel a little bit better in the evening or in the night me will take a shower or in the morning if me feel like me have a little energy in the morning me will take a little shower but apart from that i couldn't stand for too long I couldn't do nothing like you know regular you can um lift weights you're not supposed to lift weights when you're pregnant and stuff like that so i couldn't do nothing like that um let me see mm. and even now i still feel it i think that's normal where your breasts tend to feel really tender yeah but it gets worse now since I'm, I'm in my second trimester i get worse and the next thing that i couldn't do was i couldn't i still can't i'll i'll travel but when i was in my first trimester it was really 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 bad like i i normally um wouldn't eat anything or drink anything before i travel because i know that whatever i drink is going to come up and the way or once me reach so couldn't take traveling still can't take traveling and the next thing that was crazy is that a lot of food that i used to love used to love or like 
me no want to see them, me no want nothing at all like that. So I used to love ice cream. Love my cookie and cream ice cream, and I'm telling you that the last time I ate cookie and cream ice cream, it tastes awful. And yeah, I know it's because of the pregnancy, it is really really bad. So ice cream I love so much, can't eat that anymore. And normally I would um vomit for like probably one time for the day. I think I think in my first trimester that is like the second and the third month, I think I vomited almost every single day. It was a norm for me. I vomit every single day. So let me just check my list and see if I am leaving out anything. Oh my god, and the spitting. Let me tell you, in a two minute my mouth full up, full up, full up. I think like the spitting. Like being sick is bad and like going to the bathroom and peeing is bad, vomiting is bad. But that come and go. But for the spitting, you're spitting for the entire day. And you know how awful and disgusting that is. And spitting was really bad. Even though in my second trimester I still spit. But spitting was spitting started um I think I think the spitting started in the third the third month. I think it started in the third month. And guys, I am so emotional. I was emotional before, but now during the pregnancy it gets even worse. The simplest I think me I cry for. Simple I think. Right, there's so much that happened um in the first trimester, but I don't think I can remember everything. Um, so I'm just telling you guys the basic. I, I should have like done this video like when I was in my first trimester. Then I could give you guys a full blown um, experience and stuff like tell you guys my experience better when I was actually in my first trimester. Because now, you basically forget about it. It's just the, the regular vomiting and spitting and not being able to to eat certain things no appetite and stuff like that being in bed sick for the entire day and stuff like that yeah but it was really bad really really bad yeah i think i basically touched everything Yeah, touch everything. Yeah. But pregnancy is not for the week. Being pregnant um makes me like understand why a lot of females that probably have like one child, you hear them say, Oh, no, they never have another child and I'm okay with them one child. And you know you always say like it was that bad trust me it is that bad i want to come out of this um get over this situation so badly but it's the longest going to be the longest nine months ever but pregnancy is not for the week and i think um they say that them say when you're having a girl you have a really bad um really bad like the first part of the pregnancy the vomiting the bad feeling and stuff like that is extremely bad when you're having a girl that's what i'm saying so i don't know still don't know the gender as yet but that was my experience this was my first trimester experience like really really bad telling you guys ain't nothing compared to the real deal the real thing okay and nothing compare but yeah that was my little um breakdown of what i went through yeah yes guys so thanks a lot for watching do stay tuned for second trimester experience because 
as i said i am now in my second trimester and it's it's better but at the same time it's still not good so you guys stay tuned for the second trimester leave a like on this video leave a comment and if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever your girl posts okay you see omega glow you see in her first trimester may i tell you I don't know why I see me. As I miss them, I have some clippings and I'm going to insert them. So you guys will see how I was looking like a hot mess. Oh, one thing that I, I would say that I left out was because I was so sick and not into it. Like, I never do my ear. Like, nothing matter because then again, I was home every day in bed. I never care about how I look. I was just feeling awful. At one point, regretting it because, like, it was just too much. And trust me, for those who experience it or have had a bad experience there, they will understand and they will know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you haven't experienced it before, which you know, most experience it as bad as me, but I'm telling you, that will make you think and say all kind of things. There was one point when I was just saying, um, we can't wait for this, like, just, just be done and gone because, like, why am I feeling so awful? Why, why it have to be this bad? Like, it was really bad. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.